All right, guys, Young Jack back again. I just wanted to give you an update on uh, how it's been going. So as you can see here, I've gotten a few more parts in. Uh, this is my custom power distribution board, 5-volt power supply in there. Uh, you can see it's plugged in right now. Switch uh, going to a fan header, which goes to there. So that's always powered on when this main switch gets switched on. And uh, goes to USB port, which is just power, obviously. Uh, to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this port is always powered, even if the switch is turned off. So the switch only controls the fan header and this USB port. This USB port is always on when power is plugged in. Um, I think, um, yeah, I definitely mentioned in the last video, uh, this is always powered because it was going to go to my USB hub. Um... Yeah, about that, this Amazon 3.0 USB hub, I bought it was because it was powered, all that, it does not work with the Raspberry Pi. Oops. Uh, it, it's apparently a known problem. I, I should have looked into it a bit more before buying this. Uh, luckily, I can still use this at work and or my own computer at home, or, or something like that. So it's not a complete waste of money. Um, but there's some sort of issue with the Raspberry Pi controller going to a USB 3.0 controller. Um, people have gotten it to work where if it's if the USB 3.0 is plugged into here, and then 2.0 gets plugged in, or a USB 2.0 hub gets plugged in, then it'll work. I don't know. It seems like a lot of work. So I need to track down a powered USB 2.0 hub now. Uh, that's going to be fun. But, yeah. Um, I've got the... Uh, it's not plugged in right now, but I've got the uh, Kira working. There's my um, Commodore 64 keyboard there. Um, so that, that's working. I have it plugged into a normal USB keyboard right now, just, uh, cause I need it access to in here and, uh, the Commodore keyboard doesn't have all the function keys that I need it. Um, but I've got the Raspberry Pi running. You can see a USB or an HDMI cable here. Eventually that'll be a, a short extension leading to a female end over here, but that that still hasn't come in yet. Um, we'll notice all the heat sinks on here. There's another one on the bottom for the RAM uh, because I do have it overclocked. Um, yeah, I've got it to 1.4 gigahertz right now on the quad core, um, and the RAM is overclocked to 550 megahertz. Um, that's just for fun. I don't know. People say that uh, the N64 and PlayStation emulators on RetroPie run better when it's overclocked. Uh, so I've, I also have um, RetroPie running on here. Actually, I could... Uh, let's power it on. And boot screen... And this is a splash screen, by the way, that can be customized. Uh, I kind of like that about RetroPie emulation stations starting up. And here we go. Uh, so you can see I don't have any ROMs loaded on it yet. But uh, we've got Dreamcast, Macintosh, DOS. It does come with some ports. There we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, Quake, Quake 3. Super Mario War is pretty fun. It's like a, a um, Super Mario World based Smash Brothers almost. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. I remember playing that back in high school. It also has Cave Story, although Cave Story needs a ROM to play, I believe. Let's see. 
I don't even know what Cape Story is. Yeah, it briefly said something there about it. Uh, do, do, do. Come on. Select. Freeze up. Okay. Um, my overclock may not be stable. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see here, we're just froze. Yay. Um, yeah. So, that's the, by the way, never do this. I'm gonna wire up a, a, a restart switch. You can see here. Yep. Right there, you can wire up a or solder in a header there, and two pins, just momentary switch thing. Um, like I said, this has a momentary switch, so I think I'm just gonna solder in wires there, run them over to there, and just small restart switch so that I don't have to just yank the power on it like that. Um, but yeah, so if you ever do a project like this, don't go for a USB. 3.0 hub. Um, no matter how good it seems. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll continue to keep you updated on everything. I kind of want my next video to just be the finished product and be like, hey, here you go. This is what it looks like. But now, nope, nope, nope. Uh, hopefully, the next one, uh, unless I run into another problem. So I'm going to go downclock this, and I will talk to you guys later.